Hey Al, so here we are at uh, the 20 Minute CRM Review Show, episode four, I think it is. Four. I think it is, four it is, fantastic. And so what we wanted to do now was um, take a look at, I think we said we are gonna look at Sugar CRM, Salesforce.com, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and take a look at the different methods in which you load data into the CRM system. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is we're already on the account screen and we already have a small list of accounts. And so, uh, although we're going to be showing some data import techniques, um, I'm actually going to export this. I'm going to select it first, which helps. Now, reasons why I might be exporting before I import. Basically, what we'll see I think it's the accounts one. I think it's the accounts one too. What we'll mm -hmm. see is when we, we look at this file is that it's, it's got column headers in it. Uh, so this will make it easy for you to put your own stuff in after. Yeah. So if I export it, and it's going to give me, I see it's giving me all the column headings, isn't it? So all the fields. Uh, it's giving you quite a lot of, um, of column headings, quite a lot of the fields, okay. yeah. So then I could populate this with my own data if I'm taking it out of I don't know, out of Outlook or Maximizer Goldmine Act. I could take that in a spreadsheet and then populate it into this spreadsheet. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, just to make things a little bit more simple and, and easier to understand, I'm going to get rid of a lot of these um, fields. What happens if we include fields, uh, we leave them there but just leave them blank? It'll be fine for the import moment. Y yeah, well, it'll be fine. You'll see when we actually do the mapping for this. Okay. Okay, so I've got rid of quite a lot of fields there. Right. So, I think what we're going to do is just change a little bit of. Oh, okay, sure. Right. Change a little bit of information. Going to leave that the same. Going to leave that yeah. the same. Okay. San Carlos sounds a lot sunnier than West Sixth. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I'm going to change that to Vancouver. I'm going to change what is the state to that BC. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to just put the first part the postcode in, and I'm going to change that to Canada. Okay. Excellent. Okay, you get this message up with Excel, um, it's because we're saving a CSV format, you'll get another okay. one as I try to shut it down, I'll just ignore that. So, that. so we opened it as a CSV file and it automatically resaves it as a CSV file? Yes. Okay, good. And a CSV file for our non-techies out there is, is it, it, it opens and closes in Excel, it's an Excel file, but it just, in the background, it's saving um, everything as a comma delimited. Yeah. Text file. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Com common delimited file is pretty standard for right. bringing in data. But for our non-techies out there, it's, uh, it's, it's simply a file that you can open and close in Excel, and it's in a format that works for importing into, into Sugar. Okay, great. Okay, so we're on the account entity here, right. um, and if you remember from our initial um, video, the, um, the import entity is, uh, is sat on each entity. Okay. So if you want to import opportunities, the import, you go right, to the opportunity right. business subject. If uh, you want to import uh, accounts, we go to the account business subject. And the very first thing is it's saying a common delimited file. Common delimited file. Perfect. I think it's fairly standard, so I'm not going to change any right. of this stuff, but right. you can delimit in different ways. Right. But the way you did it, by exporting just a simple one dummy record that you put in the system, it gives us a spreadsheet. I could then go out to my Maximizer Goldmine Act, my spreadsheet that I maintain. I could have somebody in the office populate it for me, and then I can go back and just import it. It's that simple. That's Absolutely. good. Okay, fantastic. Now, just leave the, the house header because we do have the column headings in there. Right. And what you'll find then is when we get to the mapping screen, which I think is the next screen, you'll find that that's made life just a little more simple for uh, me. Because we exported it as a CSV, direct from the system, 
it, the it's it's a like for like match on that header row with the with the true field name. Yeah. And so it it exactly. knows to line it up correctly. Yeah. The system has exported the headers. Um, it on the import it recognizes the headers and matches right. them to the correct columns. We'll right. See each of these. Right. So in in the database field, I see it's got the display name, and then what we're seeing in the header row, what we put out was the actual the hidden true field name where it's got underscores and okay makes sense good okay uh, and basically I'm gonna hit import on that right wow now that replaced the existing record that was there that didn't replace the existing record. it didn't when we um, export it out mm -hmm. if you remember we have that ID column in the file Right. Now, if we'd have imported back in with that ID column, I suspect it would have changed that record to be with the data that I've got. Ah, okay. Because I didn't import the ID, it assumes that this is a new record. If you had left the ID column there and left it blank, it would have imported it as a new record too, I presume. I would suspect that that's Yeah, the but the nice thing is by having that ID record there, that ID number there, you could go in and actually use then Excel to have to, link to your update, records. update your data, yeah. To update your data or, or to link your records, yeah, uh, ideal. To link a, a parent to a child. So it's it's almost worth exporting some of your data out before you do the imports to, right. to make sure that even right. if you're gonna add new, add new values to the file that's already there. Right, okay. Hey, you know, yeah, and so like the typical thing you're gonna wanna import when you do these things, I guess, is your, like we were talking about before, you're gonna have companies, contacts, and opportunities. And so you're going to probably, you're going to take your sugar CRM install, you're going to create at least one dummy record for each of those, you're going to export that, it'll give you a CSV file, I'm going to open the CSV file, I'm going to fill the data in with what I want from, 